hello guys so today our lecture is uh, related to inspection so inspection time guys in the start i will tell you that you will not be just picking up your goods if the supplier say that the goods are ready and you will just go and you will uh, tell your ff and you will pick those goods uh, from their warehouse no it's not like that before you pick up your goods you will send a team uh, that will that will inspect uh, those of your goods that whether they are according to the uh, quality it was mentioned in the contract and uh, they are completely okay they are having no damages so i will be showing you a uh, inspection report as well in the last of the lecture but before that whatever supplier tells you if they will tell you that everything is okay everything is fine you are not going to trust him and especially in case if it's your first time with that supplier so you should compulsory uh, hire a team and you can hire in China Kima and STS and Forest Leopard uh, there are other companies but I will recommend Kima okay they are really good uh, they will take some uh, I, I think so like 200 or something but you can go on their website Kima.com and you can negotiate with them and take quotation from them to inspect your goods so once your goods are ready uh, you will send that inspection team and they will inspect and prepare a report for you so that everything is okay or like if uh, more than 75 percent or 80 percent of your goods are uh, okay uh, i mean they are ready so you can send an inspection team to check that everything is okay or not so inspection via third party so it's really important and an essential step to conduct third party inspection service before you dispatch your shipment from china to usa or uk or any part of the world we recommend Kima. Okay, Kima is really good. They do inspection. So, uh, like they just check very minor points of uh, a products, right? So Kima is really good. Okay, let's check uh, a report here uh, that is given by a company for a product. So how they do anal analysis? So it's not Kima. It's another company, Forest Leopard. So just you can see here they have passed something. You can just pause the video and check these pages all right so here you can see they are doing scratch minor there are minor scratch i'm just showing this inspection report that why it's so important like there uh, you can face uh, different kind of so you can face different kind of scenarios so there can be different type of defects in your uh, product so you should know that these kind of defects major uh, like usually come up so you can see here scratch minor and dirty minor and impurity minor uh, these are all the pictures the inspection team has taken else that you can see that everything is okay past and past pending some things are pending okay you can see here they are checking a master carton main shipping mark view and here you can see these are the fb labels and these are uh, the weights mentioned right uh, the the carton open view five PLY and gift box view they are giving everything every information these are the FNSKU I mean SKU labels right here you can see they have opened the boxes and checking the packaging of those boxes air hole and P bag view product view all right uh, these are the product view you can see all right Okay, they are here you can see they are ch checking the size as well that it's not exceeding the amazon guidelines like it's 55 centimeters so it's okay amazon is going to accept this master, master carton right they are checking the weights and size of these boxes as well the gift boxes right they are checking the size of each item as well okay let's see the weight of each item and functioning tests okay that do they function right or not so installation tests right and smell test okay uh, they are doing smell test and these are something suction it's related to suction so they are checking the suction as well that how much weight uh, can they pick up right so it's like 5 kg weight if this suction uh, is really good okay for this product and they are checking the labels like those barcodes and they are checking uh, drop test they are doing drop test of cartons and gift box uh, drop test 
going all right so guys this was a short overview of inspection report and uh, one thing i should not miss it's that for the first time you done inspection and the inspection uh, failed okay the kima company has given the report that inspection or all inspection result is failed so client has the final decision to reject or approve but uh, you should be discussing and making terms with the supplier in the start that if the first inspection fails so in case i just keep on my order with your uh, factory uh, so who will be responsible for the second inspection okay if the for the first inspection the report was uh, given failed okay so for the second time you will again do inspection it's not like just one time we have an inspection and then uh, for the second time you will not uh, but in the second time we will again do inspection but in case that we pay to kima second time the supplier will be paying those charges to the company right you will make this term with the supplier from the start when you will be discussing trade terms so you will tell them that first time inspection cost will be uh, given by me but if the inspection failed for the first time so second time you will be responsible to pay for the charges of inspection third party inspection